Howdy, my name is Billy. I'm one of the librarians at Lone Star North Terrace. And today, I'm gonna to be talking to you a little bit about scenes. This video is the first in a series of videos on making zines. But before we get into zines, let's talk about what a zine is. Zines are sometimes described as slow circulation magazines or newsletters, usually with less than 100 prints. Zines can come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Some are hand-drawn and Xeroxed, Others are glossy and laid out on computers. Zines can cover a variety of topics, fact or fiction, political or recreational. Some people use zines to make a statement, others use, it, use them just to share their baking recipes. Zines reached the height of their popularity in the 80s, but fell out of fashion with the rise of the World Wide Web, blogs, and social media but they have experienced a resurgence in recent years thanks to, to different festivals like Zinefest Houston. So now let's take a moment. I want to show you some, some of my favorite zines, a few zines that I have uh, that I've gotten uh, over the years from uh, Zinefest Houston and some other places. So the first one here, this is a zine. This is by uh, uh, Isabel Ann Castro aka Queen of Tacos, Texas. And I got this at Zinefest Houston in uh, 2019. And she did this because uh, she really liked Dragon Ball Z, um, but for some reason she thinks that she's a bad artist, but she's actually really good. But you can go through here. So this is a very, you can go through here. And the way she did this was, uh, it looks like she used a felt pen or uh, like a Sharpie or something like that. And then uh, from there, like used a, a, a photocopier to copy this onto um, some heavyweight paper. I like her Krillin, that came out really nice. I like her Dragon too, that was nice. And you can see this is actually, so if we take this, this is a simple eight panel. So if I fold this out like this, you can see it's just eight panels like that. And we'll show you in a later video how to fold these guys up like that. It's really simple. So just like that. This is another scene. This is uh, Plant Basics. So this one is by Felicia Cleveland, and this is another one that I got at uh, Zinefest Houston. So this one, you can see, uh, again, this is all hand-drawn, and it looks like, and it's another, again, this is another little uh, eight-panel uh, zine. So you can fold it, you can see, you just want a, a little fold-up like that. Um, it looks like what they did was they uh, drew this out, and then uh, photocopied it onto some green paper there. And it's uh, pretty nice. So this is another, uh, so this is another zine here. I got this one, I believe this is from 2018. I got this at Zinefest Houston 2018. Um, I believe the artist who makes this is uh, Morris. Uh, I don't think she puts her name. I. I can't read her signature, it's a little blurred there. Um, but you can see, so this uh, zine, um, this is uh, poetry. So it's got some poetry in here by the artist, but then it also has some pictures and some, uh, some different art that she did. You can see here, she's got a Polaroid that she did some drawings on and some other stuff on there too. Uh, it looks like all of this, um, this was probably uh, the, the uh, the text for this, this was probably done on a word processor and printed out. Um, these images, they look like they were captured maybe either with a digital video phone, uh, uh, camera or they were scanned in, like for example, this one is obviously a, a Polaroid of some kind and was uh, scanned in to uh, the computer. Uh, possibly printed out on an inkjet printer uh, you can, she did some really cool stuff on here. So 
Uh, these are just little pages. Like I said, looks like she printed them out on an inkjet printer. But um, to bind these together, uh, she actually used thread. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about using thread for binding in a little bit later video. Um, you can see one of the cool things she did with this, just to add a personal touch to this, um, she put these little, if you can see that right there, she put these little leaves on the thread that she was using to bind and it made it look like a little vine. Uh, so that's really cool. She also put the stamp back here on the back and then she had her signature. Um, when you, if you find yourself, uh, if your zine becomes popular and you find yourself producing a lot of zines, uh, you know, you may find yourself uh, uh, doing these like Xeroxing them off and maybe you want to do something a little bit special to still make each zine feel special. You can do things like this where you add these little touches in addition to the, to the photocopy to make these zines uh, pretty cool. So this is another one. I got this, I believe I got this one at uh, Zine Fest uh, 2019 uh, last fall. Um, and so um, this is a really cool one. So this is actually about um, uh, Henrietta uh, Levitt. So she's actually an, a famous astronomer. So she worked at, uh, I can't remember which university off the top of my head, but um, she worked uh, for a long time, Harvard, there you go. She worked at Harvard, um, mapping stars. Uh, she did some stuff with um, star luminosity and stuff like that. And a lot of her work that she did um, she actually went on to help people like uh, Hubble when they started doing things like uh, Redshift and all that stuff. Um, so uh, the, the person here who did this one, she just wanted to do like a little uh, a zine type thing um, and you can see this one, this is actually, again, like I said, you know, most scenes, they're usually, uh, you know, printed out on Xerox or maybe an inkjet printer or something like that. But uh, some people, they do go a little bit uh, further. You can see this one is uh, glossy. It's got the glossy cover to it. Um, if you, you turn in here, you can see a lot of these pages. Uh, these, this is a... Uh, she probably sent this to uh, a professional printer to have this uh, printed out um, and all that. And then the binding on this, I believe, is uh, a staple binding. So uh, she's even got an ISBN number for it. So <laughs> going the extra mile. Um, and then finally, this is one of my favorite uh, zines. Uh, it's by this artist, Maggie. Uh, F you, I'm dyslexic. I covered that up. Some of y'all may not like that, but that's okay. Um, this is a really cool zine. Um, if you go in here, um, Maggie talks a little bit about, and I got this, I think this was at Zine Fest 17, I believe, or 16, I can't remember. But this is a really great, I love this. So you can see she goes in here and um, a lot of this, was handwritten, so it's handwritten and probably Xerox. And this is just, uh, you can see just sheets of paper. She didn't really bind this or anything, but it's just, uh, uh, looks like a letter-sized piece of paper that she folded in half. And then, you know, she Xeroxed all these. But you can see, uh, you can go in here, she does some little hand drawings, and then she does, uh, you know, writes her text out here. Um, and this is a really cool one too, you know, you remember I told you um, zines can cover all sorts of topics. We have one here about poetry, we have one here about uh, planning basics, uh, we have uh, this guy here that's trying to tell us about um, sort of this overlooked uh, scientist really. Um, and this one here is really nice because uh, Maggie's talking a lot about her struggles with dyslexia um, in um, in, uh, throughout her school career there, uh, starting with elementary school. And she actually has one in here, where is it, where she's, she draws this little drawing of her being called stupid on the playground. Um, it's very, uh, the great thing about this, and she makes a point about saying uh, that this is unedited because she wants everyone, you know, uh, so it, it, it's a very raw um, and relatable if you've ever had anything like dyslexia or maybe another sort of learning disability, uh, this is something that's really relatable. But this, 
this kind of shows you the diversity of topics that you can you can go from like something that's just you know celebrating your love of a TV show, something that's instructional, poetry, uh, something about your personal life, uh, maybe unsung heroes or some other factor fiction that you want to uh, celebrate there. So that's just a few examples of zines.